What's up guys, j and Reviews here. We just got back from Star Wars The Force Awakens. We got, saw it with our buddy Harrison here. We thought we all really want to talk about it. So let's just sit down. We're going to have a, have a nice, relaxed, spoiler-free review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. So guys, what are our first impressions of this monument of a film? Monument, I would say, is decently uh, right. Uh, Looking at the trailers of this movie, we were all super pumped, especially when we saw the first one just a year ago. And now it's finally here. It came by very fast, by the way. Um, but again, finally here. We're excited to see it, and it, it definitely delivered. I think it was very fun to watch. The overall visuals in this movie with, with the CGI and the uh, real uh, props and everything was fantastic. Um, the world really came alive of Star Wars, and I really enjoyed this movie um, in that aspect a lot. I enjoyed the characters. I thought uh, people like Rey, Finn, Kylo Ren, they were all real. Something that the prequels didn't have was real characters, they had personality. Um, I think these were characters that we're going to be able to grasp for, uh, for a very long time. Um, they just they, they grab you emotionally, um, and, and they're fun. I think they're good young people that will be... A great uh, place to start for this new trilogy. Yeah, my first impression of this movie is we are back in Star Wars. It's been the first time in a long time. The prequels were not the Star Wars we all wanted. This movie is, even though I do have things that we'll get into, not spoilery, that I didn't quite think worked. Overall, this movie is a return to the Star Wars we all know and love. It's fun. It's exciting. Like you said, the characters are actually real, and I actually want to know more about them and care about them. So overall, I think this is a great start to what should be a fantastic trilogy. <clears throat> and yeah, I have to agree with uh, Jack and Jamin about this is a great new origin, a new trilogy to the Star Wars universe, and it's a great way to kick off the new J.J. Abrams directed series. I believe, I think that uh, the new characters are great. I want to, I'm interested in watching many more movies with them. In it. Kylo Ren, Rey, Finn, amazing characters. <clears throat> this is a movie you definitely do not want to see any spoilers for. You want to go in knowing nothing. Once you go in, you'll have a great time, and I think it's a good movie for you to see. And another character that uh, we failed to mention yet, which is a shame, but I'd say, again, very underrated character, Poe Dameron. Mm -hmm. I think he was fantastic. Played by Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. I think he uh, really delivered in this movie as, as a character also that I think will be a good one uh, throughout this trilogy. I think he solidified himself as a pretty uh, nice little character that... Um, is, is what he is. He's resistance. He is uh, a great pilot um, and fun to watch. I really enjoyed his character. Um, as with a lot of the uh, new characters, plus I also like how they added the um, the original trilogy guys in there. Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, C-3PO, you know them, R2-D2. They were all really good in how they implemented them. You know, they didn't overpower the new people, um, but they were really good supporting characters. And I enjoyed that. Um, and I think that really worked with this uh, first movie to set things up. Yeah, staying with the character thing, I really liked uh, Ray in this movie. I thought she's really, they set her up to really carry the rest of this trilogy. I think she's going to be great in it. And I just love all the just character building they just did in this one movie, setting everyone up. You don't get into every character as deep as we could, but that's because we have a lot more movies yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. And so they focused on a couple characters, but I really want to see more from <clears throat> Poe, played by uh, Oscar Isaac. I think he's going to be a great addition to Star Wars. And just overall, and also BB-8. BB-8 was pretty mentioned. fun. He was I actually, like I kind of thought he was just kind of a thing to sell toys and he wouldn't do much, but he actually he was, was a solid, he was a fun character. He was a fun character. I enjoyed watching him and he wasn't like a distraction or anything. He was fun. <laughs> Yeah, one thing I've always loved in the Star Wars movies is the connection between droids and humans. I mean, it kind of results to, like, pets and humans, but they're robots, and they actually have their own story, especially the new BB droid in this movie. It fit great with matching with uh, Poe and matching with sometimes with Rey, and it was a great character, and I think these characters are something you all want to learn more about, and it's something that will build a great new trilogy. Yeah, each character comes from a unique background that had that that all binds them together in a way, you know, they all uh, end up working together in some points, and it, it, it's really nice to see that because they come from nowhere and they start out, and that's kind of what Star Wars is all about. Um, starting down real, real low and building themselves up with teamwork and, and hard work, um, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I was really impressed also with the uh, Resistance and the First Order side. I liked how they kind of revamped those, but again, the same but different stuff. 
Uh, Resistance, I think, was really cool. Um, we kind of put an emphasis uh, in this movie on the X-Wings as one of their main weapons, and I think that's awesome because that was one of the coolest parts of the original trilogy. And then looking at the First Order, I think uh, the new Stormtroopers look awesome. They, they, they look actually more, a lot more uh, dangerous than, say, the uh, original trilogy ones. Plus, they just look meaner, cool. Um, you know, yeah, got Captain Fathom leading them. I thought, you know, they were pretty darn cool uh, characters. I, I just like the old First Order, uh, how it was kind of revamped. You know, not as much uh, politically in this movie. I think it's more of yeah. a just a order, as, as per se, and they kind of just want to control the galaxy, um, which is kind of cool. Again, kind of, kind of a twist on things. You got General Hux leading them and Kylo Ren and um, Lord Snoke. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, and I thought the visuals in this movie were just amazing at certain points because it's not all CGI like the prequels. I thought a lot of the just fight scenes and the space scenes were just awesome to watch on the big screen. Really brought you back into the Star Wars world. And just J.J. Abrams did a great job just with the visuals alone. He captured the story, but the visuals is what a lot of people, after seeing the prequels, everyone was just done with CGI and Star Wars. So to see practical effects and the CGI actually working with the practical effects so well was really, really a relief for me. Yeah, I agree. They show multiple worlds in this movie, and every single world has own unique features, and I think that's great because, like you guys said, the prequels were filled with a lot of CGI, and a lot of people didn't like that, and me being one of them. I think this one kind of brought it back and showed how J.J. Abrams can show an amazing landscape and show that Star Wars is something more than just a lot of CGI. Yeah, and uh, one more thing I want to also bring up, um, again, with the same different thing, same <clears throat> different thing, uh, was kind of the nod to the original trilogy. There was lots of little uh, tidbits here and there, whether it was verbally or visually. They were like distracting them. Mm -hmm. like, they didn't. I thought they were going to go a little over the top with them, but they really like did a nice job spacing them out. And they weren't just like remember this, remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that because it it, it 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 gave you kind of that either that chuckle or like. Yes, you know, I really enjoyed that. Even that little mini clap, just to see it again and enjoy those uh, great moments. But again, same but different. Everything was, was, was done in a way where it was familiar, but also with J.J. Abrams' little touch on it, which I think was fantastic. You can tell that he's a really, really big fan of this series, and he oh, yeah. really knows his stuff, and I like it a lot. Um, I think he's going to be able to set this series um, up for a bunch of movies down the road, and I, I like that a lot. And uh, getting into the story, it's, we're not going to spoil anything, so I can't really say anything specific. But this movie does follow some uh, familiar beats, but it is kind of, as Mark Hamill, you told me in the interview, he said it's the same but different. It's kind of like an homage to The New Hope. That's at least what J.J. Abrams, I think, wanted to do, because he said that is his favorite of the original trilogy. But it's different. You've got the new characters. You've got some different twists and scenes in there. So I think while it did follow some similar beats, I was okay with it because overall it was still a new and fresh experience. Yeah, this movie definitely does share some aspects of the original trilogy. Like they said, <clears throat> it matches with the famous lines you know, that Han Solo says and all the um, things that happened in the original. There are some times where they bring it back and they show it in this new movie. I think that's great, especially it shows that J.J. Abrams does love Star Wars and he wants to show the fans uh, kind of a... Uh, a celebration to like the original trilogies and show that he's a big Star Wars fan and that he doesn't he wants to take this to a new whole new level and show it's not just like the prequels. Yeah, and then uh, another subject, um, looking at obviously the title, uh, The Force Awakens. That's a big part of this movie. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we are used to you know lightsabers, battle, and all that stuff, but this one really focused on the Force, and the Force has become extremely powerful in this movie. Um, and it is reflected, again, no spoilers, but um, yeah, the Force is definitely more prominent in this movie than I think that we saw, especially in the original trilogy and uh, even the prequels. And this one really uh, shows how, how powerful this, the Force is and how if you have a grasp on it, you are extremely powerful. And I like that aspect because it just, it, it adds that um, extra ability. And I enjoyed seeing it because it, it was awesome. Yeah, I absolutely loved the fact that lightsabers were not just whipped out at every opportunity. Like, not to keep harping on the prequels, but pretty much every scene in that movie with the Jedi, they had their lightsaber <clears> out. <throat> this one, it's more about the Force and controlling, and it shows. Because the Force is so powerful, and I think that's what the prequels kind of lost was the idea of the Force. And I think this movie really brings it back with the big punch. It just... It was so nice to see that they were actually focusing on what 
is so special about the Force and it wasn't just a bunch of crazy choreographed lightsaber fights. Yeah, no spoilers, but when there were lightsabers being used, I definitely loved the fact that it wasn't flips and spins and choreographed with dance moves, basically. Yeah, it was like, real people see. Real, it was really real, fighting. Yeah, real people fighting with lightsabers. And the Force, again, was a huge thing in this movie. It's called The Force Awakens, and The Force definitely awakened in this movie. For sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everything really came together in this movie. I think, um, again, the time spent on this movie, you can definitely see it. Um, it, it just, it, it pays homage to the originals and just has so much uh, extra cool um, stories and, and, and things that this is going to be developing into because it's just, it opens up a big door. J.J. Mm -hmm. um, Abrams wrote this with uh, Lawrence Kasdan and um, told a story of the two uh, walking together and just making up this en entire story. And I think uh, it's a really good developed story. It's, it's, it definitely is a little bit similar to the uh, originals, but it, it adds different things. And I liked it a lot. Yeah, so let's go ahead and try to wrap up our thoughts on this. Again, we can't really get into the negatives or too many of the positives without spoiling it, but overall, I think The Force Awakens was a great addition to the Star Wars films. I think it was overall a safe movie, but I think it really sets up well and does its job in getting everybody excited and back into Star Wars, and we'll definitely be back for the sequels. I'm going to go ahead and give The Force Awakens an 8.5 out of 10. Really did enjoy it. Can't wait to see it multiple times. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shaggy on his uh, first video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, a great movie. I think, you know, visually, story-wise, um, everything. I mean, I, it was just a fun film. That's really the main thing that I enjoyed Very about fun. this. It engaged me the entire time. I've been waiting for this thing for so long. Um, and it, it's finally here. And um, going to the movie, you know, I was worried about being disappointed. But no, I, don't, I wasn't disappointed at all. I come out, you know, really feeling like, Wow, it was a whole new story. We got so much more left, and I'm so excited to see what continues to happen. And I'm, I was very happy with just watching this movie. It was just so much new things flying at you. I'm definitely going to see it a couple more times. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a 9 out of 10. Um, it really hit me on the spot. Um, it was my favorite Star Wars movie. Way too hard to judge yet. But at, again, a very solid first thing, uh, first movie. Um, better than the prequels, and it's just a new flair on a great series that we call Star Wars. And I'm not to agree. I think The Force Awakens is a great start to a new sequel of Star Wars and we'll be back every single year whenever they make their new sequels. I think that all the new characters are amazing and they're, it's a family movie. There's a lot of times I promise you that you'll be to do is just smile. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a 9 out of 10. I think it's like Jamin said, a lot better than the prequels. It's not, I don't know if it's my favorite Star Wars movie yet, but I think once more movies come out from J.J. Abrams and we'll be able to see more of his new Star Wars, Star Wars take and how the world, he, how he directs the world, I think we'll be able to make a more better decision on that. All right, so thank you guys for watching this review. Let us know down in the comments, what did you think of Star Wars The Force Awakens? Did it live up to every expectation you have and how excited are you for more to come? Uh, I'd like to thank we got Jamin as always and our buddy Harrison here for joining us for this review. Uh, look out, we will be doing a spoiler review once we do this movie about five more times and Six. digest it. Or more. <laughs> or less. So look out for that. As always, again, thank you guys for watching J&J &J Reviews. Sign out.